So here friends, the topic is distribution that is third party products or mutual funds and life insurance policy. So very briefly, very basics of mutual fund and uh, insurance because we are uh, always on the toes for selling of insurance products and mutual fund units. So we must have a brief idea about it and in wealth management module, I'll be sharing a lot of topics on this mutual fund and uh, how, what is equity, what is uh, income funds, what is equity funds, what is growth funds and what are balance funds, what is passive funds, active funds, we'll discuss in detail and insurance why how we can convince a customer to take an insurance policy from us we'll discuss there in detail right right so understand salient features of mutual fund and salient features of insurance schemes just to give you a basic idea about that structure of mutual fund in india is sponsors the bank may be in sponsor any institution may be in sponsor they form a trust mutual fund trust and this has to be approved by sebi SEBI's Securities Exchange Board of India then they trust forms an asset management company which has fund managers and professionals working into it. They devise schemes, less risk, high return, high return, high risky, risk is more and they define a lot of schemes at index funds, sector funds, industry wise funds, schemes right. Then we have distributors and agents who sell units to various customers on behalf of these mutual fund companies registrar and transfer agents we call them rta they maintain all the record of the unit holders on behalf of the asset management company and the bankers who are acting as a banker to those mutual funds so this is basically a structure of mutual fund how does it work here the benefits of investing in mutual fund diversification we diversify we don't keep all eggs in one basket we put in equity also regular income bonds also bonds debentures index funds your top-notch companies nifty 50 sector funds industry wise funds sector sectoral fine words yeah you can say uh, infrastructure uh, companies funds right tax benefits are also also there long-term capital gains short-term capital gains then we have this liquidity Anytime you can redeem these units of mutual fund, you can sell these units of mutual funds. Well regulated because they are governed by CB Securities Exchange Board of India. Transparency is there. CB has given a lot of guidelines every day. You have to put up all these records on the table here. Then professional management is there. Low transaction costs is there. Professional management, fund manager is a highly professional person. The whole team is very highly professional. So as an investor, I may not have knowledge how the stock market works, how the how should I decide in which company should I invest. And convenient administration, administration is there. So these are the benefits of investing in mutual funds. I just have to put my money and decide the which scheme I want to take depending on my risk appetite and my savings and my return expectations. I can choose the scheme and I can uh, rest uh, myself and I can change also schemes in case I feel that return is not coming as per the expectations. The term used in mutual fund transactions are SIP, Systematic Investment Plan. Bank account every month is transferred to mutual fund. Then we have Systematic Withdrawal pl Plan. Every month or every quarterly depending on the withdrawal plan funds are transferred from mutual fund to the account of the customer. Then swap is the systematic withdrawal of appreciation plan. Offer document, this is the offer document of mutual fund wherein details of the schemes is given. In which, uh, what is the risk appetite, what is the return expectations. They cannot commit, they will give definitely 100% or so and so percent. KIM, KIF, key information memorandum, that is called KIM. Then net asset value. Whatever the market value of one unit of mutual fund is that is called net asset value of that unit and if the whole scheme is taken the number of units in that scheme plus the market value multiplied you get net asset value and every mutual fund is supposed to declare its NAV of all the schemes on its website daily as per guidelines of Securities Exchange Board of India. Then entry and exit load. Earlier people were charging entry load. 
which was dis banned by SEBI because it was reducing the net asset value of course on exiting there is a load charge and for that mutual fund is also earning profit but otherwise they won't exist in that plan right types of mutual funds by structure open-ended close-ended interval funds by investment growth funds income funds balance funds money market and equity related schemes then equity related schemes tax saver schemes index schemes and sectoral sector funds banking banking sector auto sector right so these are sectoral funds schemes right so we invest in these shares of these companies we have gtf gold traded funds also or exchange traded funds also also there right open ended you can buy and sell at any time close ended there is a period only through which you can buy those units of the shares otherwise you have to redeem them in the stock exchanges to buy structure open ended close ended and interval funds are mix of first is close ended then there are lot of open windows given in that interval funds that we call it interval funds growth funds they invest in shares of the company which is volatile return is high risk is also very high income funds these are loans given to the companies and interest pay interest on that companies pay interest on that maybe monthly quarterly so uh, investor is assured of a regular income in those funds balance funds we mix both income and growth funds money market up to 90 days we can invest in any security in the market interbank exchange of uh, funds between them or any you can say cd certificate of deposits your commercial papers issued by the companies we can invest in them these are very short term duration investment uh, instruments right equity related tax saver schemes index funds and sectoral schemes so very briefly you are given here so plan offered by mutual funds growth options dividend payout dividend reinvestment plan systematic investment plan growth options your growth fund can increase capital can appreciate or they can pay you dividend on the basis on the income earned profit earned or a dividend can be added into the unit units can be added into the your uh, basis on the dividend the dividend will be reinvested in the principal amount so you will be getting a compounding return on your investment then we have sip options of mutual funds every month you can invest in them so insurance is a transfer of risk from for a potential loss any ex, unexpected loss life insurance non life insurance or general insurance so life insurance for a person his life otherwise other than that insurance for car home household goods is called general insurance health insurance is also general insurance so insurance company they work on four principles one is in, uh, principle of insurable interest means you can get your own vehicle insured not your neighbor's vehicle you can get your own house insured not your neighbor's house that is called principle of insurable interest second is principle of insur uh, insurable faith good faith both insurer and insured should have faith on each other customer should not hide any disease any ailments similarly insurance company should give in detail how the claim would be settled for what period the claim would be settled what would be the amount that would be settled upon redeeming of the claim right third is principle of adhesiveness terms and conditions of the con contract should be uh, agreeable to both the parties of course both are signing it mean means it is agreeable and last is principle of indemnity indemnity means guaranteeing of a, a loss arising all of a sudden suddenly a person loses any financial loss due to death accident or accident of the car or a destruction of the house due to floods earthquake or any other thing so there is a uh, all of a sudden there is a financial loss so insurance company they ask to pay premiums there is a pool is created after that pool that those claims are settled types of life insurance first is term insurance suppose i take a policy for 10 years if i live for those 10 years nothing would be paid to me and my nominee would not get anything but if i die during between between 10 years only then my nominee will get the 
sum assured with bonuses that is called term insurance this is the most simplest and the purest form of insurance hence the premium is very very low next is endowment policy here we have two aspects of a policy that one is risk cover another is savings suppose i am paying 10000 every month as an insurance premium or every quarter or every year so 4000 would be taken care of my risk risk element 6000 would be invested by the insurance company of its own decision wo khud decision lega ki kahan us investment karna hai they'll earn out of it and they'll share the profit with me next is whole life insurance till the person is alive this insurance is alive so nominee will get the payment but when no one knows he may die early he may die later that is also there annuities pensions there is certain sum of amount you can a customer can invest frequently in in the initial stages of his life and after 60 years he can start getting pension annuity you pay lump sum amount into any annuity fund and you get pension after a certain period of time 15 years 20 years or after retirement then we have money back policies also there wherein a certain amount is returned back to the customer initially at the time of the policy first 10 years 15 years then later on when the policy is redeemed after end of the term that amount is deducted and rest amount is paid at the end of the policy now we have second to die another one is second to die so here second to die means here husband and wife both take the insurance policy nowadays since women are also earning they also have their savings they also have their funds with them so it was found that when 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 a man died a woman was not in much of need of money because she had her own funds with her so they decided only if we both die then their children may need funds in case of need so here we the policy is called both to die insurance policy earlier only men were given this policy so it was felt that now even women have become independently financially independent they also have savings of their own so we can also give them policy cover so after death of both husband and wife their nominee children will get the sum assured in case both are deceased classification general insurance fire cover marine traveling right marine if you're traveling by air or by ship fire covers fire is related and miscellaneous covers personal accidents and sickness now here's an activity i can you can do it later on also i'm just going through this activity analyzing the needs of insurance because insurance is a third party product uh, let me explain you here why bank focus more on this product here here is suppose you convince the customer to take an insurance policy and he takes it for 15 years every time for 15 years he will be paying the premium out of that a certain percentage would be given to the bank as a revenue as a commission so when you convert any policy you have given a lot of revenue options to the bank so when your assessment would be done your work assessment after financial year you will be given more weightage if you give more third third party products to the bank here bank is earning without investing a single penny into any product that's why there is a more focus on insurance so the more smarter you become to convince a person to take insurance policy explaining the test benefits give him the all the how the hospitalization become expensive how the life is scary how the disease corona has taken taken care so you can all these tricks in your uh, selling techniques i'll be sharing in my sales and selling techniques you can use those tricks in those module where i'll be sharing a lot of videos in sales and selling techniques module for converting a uh, convincing a customer to take insurance policy right so transfer response control avoidance reduction financing retention right so insurance is nothing but transfer of risk from the insurer to the uh, from the insured to the insurer it is responsive control is there you can avoid any damage any financial loss you can reduce your financial loss you, financing can be done you can retain the product you can retain the asset suppose you insured a house and if it is destroyed or you have taken a loan and you have taken a loan insurance policy suppose your deceased your family won't lose the asset so that loan is also uh, loan outstanding is repaid by the insurance company and house is 
asset is retained by the family so you can i just give you one of these examples for each of these you can add more whatever i have added already right so very briefly we discuss mutual funds what is uh, sponsor mutual fund trust amcs distributors rta agents and brokers mutual fund has advantage of diversification professional management liquidity flexibility choice of schemes transparency low transactions convenient administration tax benefits regulations mutual funds lot of options are there swap sw withdrawal plans right systematic swap is also there available they can invest in open ended close ended interval funds and uh, growth funds income funds balance funds and money market funds so very briefly and i'll be sharing in my uh, this uh, wealth management module i'll be launching very soon within 15 to 20 days we will get lot of topics lot of coverage on wealth management so why not only become a banker also become a wealth manager also you can enhance your horizon to earn more and become a professional success so there are different options available for mutual fund growth option dividend payout option dividend reinvestment you can this like compounding of fixed deposit so interest is added into principal here dividend is added into the principal amount of the investment made by the investor in the units of the mutual fund term insurance whole life insurance endowment policy annuities pensions right money back policy is also there then sip is also there systematic investment plan where an insurance policy works as an insurer as well as mutual fund company also that is we call it systematic investment plan that is most popular sip general insurance fire insurance marine insurance miscellaneous category i think i have covered everything hope you have learned something those who are new to the banking or those who are already into banking may be enhancing the just uh, you can say refresh your memory learn these jargons and use to your advantages in furthering your career as a banker as a wealth manager and friends i'll be launching a wealth management module soon a lot of topics will be discussed there about wealth management any suggestions feedback any query doubt please connect thank you